Hey everybody, what's going on out there? El Duderino here, and today on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill, we are cooking with morel mushrooms. That must mean it's the end of the second season, because last year, I believe our last episode of first season was with morel mushrooms as well. Then we did a fried morel mushroom recipe. This time, we're gonna do it with pasta. All right, let me show you what a morel mushroom is, but also, I'm gonna tell you about them. Morel mushrooms are these uh, wild mushrooms that grow in places, especially in the western United States. You pick them in late spring, and they are uh, indigenous to places like where there's been a fire recently within the last couple years, and they are pricey. People go out and they pick these meaty bad boys like crazy. I'm gonna give you a close-up of these and kind of show you what they look like if you haven't seen them before. So we start with a morel mushroom, and that's it right there. It just kind of has, you know, kind of crazy looking stuff to it, but they're really what good. But here's the inside of it. I mean, hollowed out on the inside, and uh, very, very meaty, very, very flavorful. Now, morel mushrooms are loaded with water. And they're very dirty when you first get them. So you really want to clean these things off, and these things have been cleaned off numerous times. I think uh, I put them to the rinse four times. It's really easy, just uh, some water, warm water with some salt. Soak them in there for a bit, and just rinse and repeat, just like I always say. I'm just gonna cut these up. Now to store these, you wanna just put them in a bag with a paper towel in there, and that paper towel will absorb a lot of that water as well. All right, we're gonna put these all into a pan. The reason why we're just putting them in the pan all by themselves, we're not putting any butter or anything in there yet, is we want all that extra water to cook out of the mushroom. All right, let's put them on the Cuisinart. Our mushrooms have been cooking for about 10 minutes. Let's just give them a stir. I want to show you this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is some water already starting to get in here. And that's just the water from the mushrooms. All right, I'm gonna put these off to the side, get them kind of together in the pan, and just put a lid over them, no biggie. Now we're gonna start on our pasta. We're gonna put a pan of water onto the Cuisinart 360 and bring it up to boil so we can add our pasta. For our pasta, we're gonna use just this linguine that comes out of the uh, cold section at the grocery store. All right, our water is boiling, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to it. Then we're gonna put our pasta in. Just let it do its thing. And our pasta, that's actually linguine, already in the pan, we are going to start on our sauce. So, just gonna start a couple cloves of garlic. Put them down in the pan. I'm gonna take a little butter. about a tablespoon and a half. Now this is our fat. <laughs> Throw it into the pan and then a couple tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. There's our fat and garlic. All right let's put it on the Cuisinart. We're into this cook with our cream sauce for about three minutes but we don't have the cream in it yet. So to fix that I'm using some heavy whipping cream and I've got about seven or eight ounces of this. Throw a little salt into it. A little bit of oregano left, but not a lot. Just gonna put it over the top. There we go. Give it all a stir. And let it just kind of meld together. While our cream sauce cooks away, I just want to check on the pasta. Looks good. I think it's time to drain it because we're gonna use this pan put everything together. So I'm going to drain it and then we'll be right back. So I just drained the pasta. It's time to put our morels in. I'm stir them up in there and get them kind of mixed up into the pasta a little bit. Our cream sauce is boiling so I'm going to put that over the top. Yum. Kind of mix it all in together. Oh, looks so good, doesn't it? Doesn't that look amazing? 
All right, let's plate it and try it. Now I know this is kind of a funky angle for this, but got our pasta in there. Make sure we get our, some of our morels in there. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you folks, that's good stuff right there. That is what I'm talking about right there. It looks amazing. Let's try it. I think it's time to eat, but before we do that, I want to do just a test of a morel mushroom by itself. Now, all we did was just cook it in its own water. Remember that from earlier. I mean, it's, it's natural to them. All right, let's try out our little dish we made. Now keep in mind, if you didn't want to make the, the cream sauce that we made for this, any other sauce would do. I just want to give this a shot. Yeah, that works. That works really well. You get the buttery flavor from the morel mushrooms. You get a little bit of that cream, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of oregano. There's a reason why people wait till spring every year and go up and hunt these things. They call them hunting, right? There's a reason for it. Mm. Damn good. Damn good. Damn good. I'm gonna try it with a white cloth. You don't go really good with it. Actually, that mango goes really well, but a nice glass of white wine, or even if a red wine, if you're into that. This is the bomb, guys. And it's super easy to make. I, I, get, I guess you can make make it with any mushroom right but that buttery flavor that comes off of that morel mushroom is just seals the deal right there special thanks to my buddy Nate who gets these for me every year and when we do morel mushrooms you know it's the end of the season season three is coming up next week we've got our patio cover in you can see there we go you can see in the in the frame that we've got you know patio cover in. We've got a bar going in this year. We have a lounge area going in, a TV or two in the back. We're going to restart the talk show, uh, doing it from outside. So I think we're just going to have a blast, guys. And I, and I want you to come along with me. I really do. So another special thanks to Patty Style Productions for editing this. You know him, you love him. Patrick, he does an amazing job. And if you're looking for anybody to edit your videos, I highly recommend Patrick at Patty Style Productions. All right, I'm going to put the recipe down below for you because if you get the chance to try morel mushrooms, I highly recommend it. That buttery flavor, oh. All right, we'll talk to you later. Enough of me jabbering away. Take care, everybody. Remember the do to bites this time with morel mushrooms and a pasta sauce that we made ourselves with fresh pasta. Talk to you later, guys. I'm going back to eat. Mmm.